my name's Liz Usher. I run Mummy Makes Fudge and I'm a member of Local Food Surrey and I run my little company in the craft town of Farnham and this is our kitchen. Come and see how we make fudge. So it's my auntie's fudge recipe um, which has been in the family cookbook for years. Hello there! Mummy Makes Fudge uses exclusively um, Booker Harrison's South Downs butter uh, because it's the best local dairy butter has a great flavour and it makes a such a difference to the flavour of the finished product if you use really good local ingredients. Because apart from anything else, you're supporting the local economy. I started making fudge to give away as presents, and then people kept asking me to make more, so I made more, and then I started selling fudge at local markets, and by the time I was doing all that, not only was it much more fun than being a graphic designer, it was the best thing to be doing. There's over 50 flavours I make now, most of them are seasonal, um, some of them I, I do all year, but a lot of them are seasonal. Um, and the most bizarre flavour that I've been asked to make was Marmite, and I just afraid couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, this is the uh, culinary lavender I use that comes from the Lavender Hills farm near Banstead in Surrey. If I could choose to be a fudge flavour, I would have to be Surrey Hills fudge because I would just love to be able to source all my ingredients from around where we live in this beautiful county. The first day I joined Local Food Surrey, I got an email through saying you might be interested in this. Here's a competition. Sky Living are running a, a Cooks to Market programme. So being naive, I thought, oh yes, that's a good idea. I'll have a go. And uh, they, I got onto the programme, um, I had to cook for the first time in a commercial kitchen, which I'd never done before. I'd only ever done it at home. And it was a fantastic experience because it gave me the confidence to know that I could produce this outside my own comfort zone. With fudge, I suppose there's three main stages. There's the melting stage, then the boiling stage, and then the cooling stage, and then just letting it settle and cool it, let it settle and just keep going. This is probably the most crucial stage actually, where most people seem to go wrong here. Here is going to be um, English peppermint fudge, which is made um, with summer down mint. You only need a tiny amount of this, it's extremely strong. I like to use actually some of the leaves in as well as just the flavouring. Customer feedback has been fantastic about Mummy Makes Fudge. It's, it's the one fudge that people come back for again and again. Sometimes they're quite cross if I'm not at an event and they were expecting me to be there. When I set up my table at a market to sell my Mummy Makes Fudge, I always have tasters out for everybody to come and nibble. And once people have tasted a little bit of this proper traditional fudge, they always buy a bag and they always take some home for somebody who loves fudge. It's, Mummy Makes Fudge is, is the traditional original product. It's quite distinctive, this string. Nobody else uses this string. Uh, it's called Baker's Twine. Uh, there's a version that I was getting from America which seemed a bit silly to import string from America so I went to find a string maker at an old-fashioned twine factory. They were making garden twine and uh, they hadn't heard of Baker's twine uh, but they came up with all these beautiful colours in cotton string. I entered the Great Taste Awards uh, last year for the first time just to really see how Mummy Makes Fudge measured up against the other brands that were available because uh, it's all very well working in a small local environment, but it's nice to know where you stand amongst um, uh, the other competitors out there. It's been great fun, uh, very useful, uh, a lot of interesting comments from the judges, as well as the uh, the star that we won for the salt caramel fudge, and it's marvellous for local independent.